is about sensory days. So, what are sensory days? Okay, I kind of made it up, I think, um, unless I somebody else already has this term, and I'm not intentionally taking it if you do. Uh, but so this is just something I described in a poll that I sent out yesterday on Twitter. And so the poll says, sensory days, when the lights are brighter, sounds are louder, and smells are smellier than normal. Anyone else experience this? And out of 142 people who have voted so far on this, 89% of my Twitter followers have said yes. And then only 3% have said no, and then 8% say they are not sure. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting, and so if 89% of people in my poll have said they experienced something, I thought, well, it might actually be worth talking about because I didn't think it would actually be that high of a percentage. Uh, if you want to check out and vote in that poll, you can search for NeuroRebel on Twitter uh, and you can vote through the end of this week on that poll. Uh, but so anyway, now let's talk about those results. And since 89% of my Twitter collective there have already said they experienced sensory days, I just thought it was worth diving into a little bit deeper. And so my kind of definition of this, and this is, you know, we can we can stretch it or whatever, is like a day where, you know, maybe you're just like sensory system is out of whack. Things don't look right, lights are brighter, um, maybe sounds are just, content just louder. Everything is just generally more obnoxious than you would normally be, normally, than it would normally be. I generally feel, Kind of tired and out of it and just not very good um but that's that's just my experience and everyone's experience i'm sure could be quite different um but we also were talking on twitter about um i was asking you know does it happen more when you're tired and um a few other people said yes tired um, and maybe stress could also be triggers for these kinds of things as well um and a few of us actually myself included, sometimes said that it can come with nausea and headaches and oh my goodness, nausea, like certain sounds will just, and especially smells, will just make me nauseous and then like my light sensitivity is like way more intense so like lights really will give me a headache um, more so than normal and so that's what I mean by when like a sensory day where it's not typical, everything is just way more intense than it usually is. I guess it would probably be the closest thing that um, somebody who doesn't normally have this kind of thing would say. Maybe I guess it could be like a migraine. I, I don't, I, it's the closest thing I can really explain, like put it to for someone else, but um, it's a kind of a little bit more immersive than that. Um, but anyway, that's just kind of my experience with a sensory day. Um, tell me in the comments, do you, have you ever experienced a sensory day? Um, what do you do to deal with it if you have this or, um, you know, what do you, what, what do you think triggers it for you or is there something you do to avoid it, um, even more importantly? Uh, I'd love to know what you think. Uh, anyway, you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you later. Bye.